Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In this stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, as many of you do know, we have a tool called Web Capture, which lets us capture an area or the full page um, in the Edge browser. That's the stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, where we can copy and then mark up for capture at a later stage. Also, if you go to Appearance, you can enable the handy shortcut button for Web Capture, which places it in the top right of the toolbar in the browser. Now, as an example, if we just open a PDF document in the stable version of Edge, you will see that there is no option currently, you can see it's grayed out, to actually capture part um, of that PDF document. The web capture is actually grayed out, so there's no option um, to capture any part of that PDF document in the browser itself. Now, if we just jump over to Microsoft Edge Canary, which is a pre-release version of Edge used for testing and experimenting, and we go open a PDF document in the browser, you will see now that we have an option to use the web capture tool um, to capture that PDF document. And as an example, I'm just going to highlight that section. And then we can copy that or mark up for capture where we have our different, we can put text on, we can draw, erase, save, add to collections, and so on. And also, you can also use the combination of keys on your keyboard, Control, Shift, and S. Um, that will also open the same tool in Edge Canary. And I think this will be a handy feature. As, as I mentioned, in the stable version, there is no option to um, capture any part of your PDF document. And this has recently started being tested in Edge Canary. And we should expect um, this web capture feature to roll out um, for the PDF document viewer and reader in the Edge browser sometime early next year in 2022. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.